So question seven is a starred question. So that means we've got to ensure that uh, the quality of our written communication is absolutely spot on here to get full marks. So uh, we've got PRS and TWY, they're parallel straight lines. Uh, we've got QRWZ as a straight line, this line here. We're asked to work out the value of X and give reasons for our answers. Okay, um, first thing that I tend to do when I'm answering these problems is just see if I can work out what X is just by filling in information onto the diagram and then I'll give my answers a little bit later. Now, I can see that this angle here is 126 and it sits on a straight line which means I can work out this angle here by doing 180 subtract 1, 2, 6. Okay, so that should give me 54. 54, let's write that down correctly. And fill it into my diagram, 54. Now the second thing I notice, and hopefully you do too, is a Z shape. Now you may have been told by our teachers before about looking out for these Z shapes when we've got angles in parallel which means that this angle here has got to be the same as this angle here okay so what we can do and um, we know that that's the same is because they are alternate angles alternate angles so X has got to be 54 okay X equals 54 now let's get uh, the marks for our communication okay so we know that the angle and get your angle referencing correct here R W Y which is this angle here so R W Y equals 54 and the reason is angles on a straight line must add to 180 Straight line, add to 180 degrees. Okay, and we know then as well that YWR or RWY, the angle we've just found, is the same as X or the angle PRW. So PRW, that's the angle trapped between those three reference um, letters which is this one, must be the same as 54 because they're alternate, okay? So we say uh, P, I'm going to say P R W, which is our angle X, must equal R W Y, and we say alternate angles are equal. Now, there are many other ways you could approach this question. For me, that was probably the most straightforward. I'm going to talk about the other other possible solutions really, really quickly, um, and I'll, I'll, I'll do that in green. So this angle here has got to be 54 for the same reason. It's sitting on a straight line, so this angle in here must be 54. And then we could say, actually, this angle is the same as X as well because they're corresponding angles. So these correspond with blue angles that I've highlighted. And then another possible reason is, you know that the angle uh, here, which I'll mark in black, this angle here is going to have to be 126 as well because it's opposite. And then we can do 180, take away 126 to get 54 again. These two angles in here are co-interior angles, which means that they add up to 180. If that's 126, that boy's got to be 54 there. So there's various solutions you could have had. There's three of them.